Hi Leo, welcome to your spirit messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, we're going to take a look at what spirit wants to tell you at this time. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. And it's a general collective reading, so please only take it as it resonates for you. Not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates. So let's see what Spirit wants to tell Leo at this time. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're staying safe and healthy at this time. So we're going to get three oracles from each deck, get three messages, and then we'll clarify those messages with the tarot. So everything you need to know, Leo, is down below in the description box. So feel free to check that out. Um, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for private reading, uh, tons of stuff down there. And if you're new, and you'd like to check out the channel, uh, please feel free to you know, like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. I do all kind of readings, so you get about four or five readings a month, and they're all different. So if you like what you see, and subscribe, and hit the bell, thank you so much, and welcome to the family. Okay, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. What are the three most important messages that Spirit has for Leo from this deck at this time. So we have sort of like a magical, mystical theme going on here. We have the fairies, we have the unicorns, and we have the mermaids. So let's see what we have for Leo. I'm going to pull all these first, and then we'll clarify this energy with the tarot. Decks are listed below also if you're interested in what decks I'm using. So let's get the three most important messages for Leo from this deck. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Show me what I need to see for Leo. Well, we got two there. Need one more for Leo. One more for Leo. All right, let's see what we have. So, from the fairies, we have make music, okay? So some of you may be musically inclined. Uh, if not, maybe, you know, spending more time listening to music if you haven't been and that's one of your favorite things. Or this is also, like, an energy of me, uh, to me of being, like, in a high vibration to be happy, you know, to create, to uh, just do something to, you know make your energy in a higher vibration. We have here financial flow. So some of you, your finances may be getting a little bit better if you've been a little bit worried or um, concerned about that, especially during the quarantine right now, especially if you have like an online business, at-home business, your own business some way, shape, or form. Um, things may be starting to pick up a little bit, especially if we start coming out of quarantine soon. And we do have here a laughter, so it's important to have a sense of humor, to, you know, be light, airy, you know, and laugh, have a good time. Again, like raising your vibration, a sense of humor. And we have here, wait, don't rush into action right now, bide your time for better results. So there's something here you may need to wait on. Um... If you're trying to rush something along, could have to do something with your finances because this is like green, so that kind of reminds me of uh, finances, but it doesn't have to be. But if there's something you feel like you need to like do it now, I have to hurry up, do it now, or rush into, this is telling you to wait, so whatever that means for you. We have here waves of prosperity, new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now, and financial flow. So you may be getting like a new opportunity that will bring you more financial flow. A new opportunity coming in that will bring more growth and prosperity. Wow. And we have, you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results yet. So just know, you know, if you're striving for something or if you're working hard and you're not seeing the results that you want, you know, just give it time, go with the flow, trust in the process, divine timing, uh, fate, destiny, and I think uh, the universe has a plan, so I wouldn't get too worried about that. And we have here light. See the light within yourself and everyone else. So that's about be the light, see the light. 
uh, shine your light. That is like the motto of my channel is to shine your light. And I'm a Leo, so how fitting is that? <laughs> so it's also telling you, it's like telling me to tell you to also be in that vibration of seeing the light within yourself so you can shine it onto other people so they can shine their own light. It's kind of like my motto. So listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. So don't be persuaded to do anything that you feel not necessarily wrong, but maybe just wrong for you. Um, so if something doesn't feel right for you, doesn't necessarily mean like something illegal or wrong in that sense. I just feel like it could be for some, but I just feel like something you would like, well, no, that's not really right for me. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Uh, I wouldn't really do that, but you may feel pressured to do it anyway, whatever that is. Just, you know, go with your true feelings, you know, in your morals and ethics. And if it's something that you don't want to do or you don't like or whatever, then you need to be true to yourself and not do something be just because others want you to. And I almost feel like, um, you know, like peer pressure in high school where that's like nonsense. We're all adults, you know. <laughs> and we have, you'll know in the morning. When you wake up, you'll have a better idea about what to do. Relax until then. So... Whenever you're seeing this, especially if you're seeing it at night <laughs> and there's something you just don't know uh, what to do about or uh, you're nervous about or unsure about or unclear about or, you know, a next move, you're not sure, wait till the next morning or wait, wait till, wait a day or, you know, but it's something, you know, may, you may, you know, sleep on it. You may have a dream. You may, you know, have an epiphany in the middle of the night through a dream wake up in the morning and it'll be clear. So I'm just getting, you know, if you're watching this in the morning, you know, wait till the next day, you know, it's kind of what I'm getting. Or wait till that time you get up and, you know, you have a clear mind and then, boom, it hits you. Oh, okay, I know what to do now. All right, so let's clarify these energies for you, Leo. I'm just getting, like, don't rush. you got two energies here. Of kind of like don't rush of wait and then this is like you'll know in the morning so there's like something uh, heavy here that may be weighing on your mind uh, whatever it is or a decision you have to make or the next you know um, course of action and you're like I just not sure it's telling you to wait so if you can you know if you have that uh, opportunity or option so let's clarify make music what is that about for Leo. So we have the Strength card and the Six of Swords. So the Strength card is about being, you know, strong, courageous, and brave, independent, um, confident. The Six of Swords is about going to a better place, a more healing, balanced place, and leaving, you know, BS behind. So I feel like here, you know, the Strength can be about taming, uh, taming uh, energies from within and being... Um, Willpower, you know, having that willpower to tame the beast, going to a much better place. So with make music, geez, you know, I'm just uh, still feeling um, like high vibration. Like the more you are in high vibration and maybe do things you enjoy or uh, do something creative or helping others or do something to make you feel good or other people feel good. It's only going to make you feel more stronger and confident. And it's only going to lead you uh, down a road of uh, more balance and peace. That's kind of what I'm feeling with that. Some of you actually do make music. Um, maybe that's uh, your strong point, And that's what gives you some peace and clarity. All right. So let's see here. Or maybe some of you write. Um, you know, you could write poems. You could write lyrics. Or something like that. Maybe it's telling you if you haven't done that in a while. Maybe, you know, if there's something uh, weighing on your mind or you need to release uh, stress or worries, sometimes writing can help. All right, so financial flow. Let's see what that is about for Leo. Those two. So we have the two of wands and justice. So two of wands is about being at a crossroads. But then we have justice. So this is getting your balance. This is getting your truth, your clarity, uh, the justice you deserve. So you might be at a crossroads here where you're not sure what to do because maybe your finances aren't flowing like the way 
they should be, or maybe they're a little stuck right now, or are you a little worried? But here's justice coming into saying that you will get your balance and your flow and your uh, clarity and getting the justice you deserve. So I think you'll be getting unstuck from um, like being at a crossroads or needing to make a decision. You're not sure what to do. I think uh, just you'll be getting the justice coming in here. You could be actually waiting for something through the justice system also. That's going to kind of uh, has you at a standstill. And look, the Nine of Pentacles just fell out in front of me. So this is being stable, secure, grounded, wealthy, and abundant, you know, independent, taking care of yourself. So if you're waiting on something in the justice department, I see it going in your favor. Um, or, you know, this is just you getting your, uh, like, karmic justice and the flow coming back in and now, you know, being in that Nine of Pentacles energy of strong, independent, stable, having everything that you need. So let's see what um, laughter is about. And I see, like, this energy here almost reminds me like the Wheel of Fortune. So I just see things will start to turn and you'll come out of that stuck energy of, like, being at a crossroads. So what is this laughter about for Leo? So we got the Three of Swords... All right, well, we got three here. I guess we'll take three. So we have the Three of Swords. We have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, you know, the Three of Swords can talk, talk of heartache or pain, but the Two of Cups talks about um, soulmate energy or unity, partnerships, doesn't have to be a lover. But we have the Queen of Cups, someone very lo loving, nurturing, caring, giving, um, emotional, intuitive. So, you know, if you're s suffering from any heartache and pain here, I mean, you have people around you that you probably connect with. It could be a lover. It could be a, a family member. It could be a friend who, you know, you have a very strong um, connection with in some way, shape, or form who can give you the love, support, nourishment that you need. Probably lift up your spirits in a time of heartache and pain at this time for some of you. So whatever this heartache is for you, only you know what that is. See, her heart is bleeding here. But you have uh, people around you that you can uh, confide in, that can help you, that can, you know, lift up your spirits, nourish you, you know, love you, guide you um, kind of energy. So reach out to those people if you're feeling any kind of pain or heartache right now. I feel like, I mean, not necessarily, you know, maybe they, they can make you laugh during, you know, trying times, hard times sad times, you know, reach out to those people. All right. Because laughter always helps. There's nothing wrong with laughter. All right. So let's see. What is weight about for Leo? Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. So what is that about, spirit? So we have the Eight of Wands and the Emperor. So there's something here you want to take charge on. You know, emperor, empress doesn't matter, but that's an energy of being, you know, in charge, a ruler, um, you know, having a lot of value and worth. And, you know, it could be a business owner, doesn't have to be, but somebody wanting to really take charge and control of a situation. Eight of Wands is about fast action, travel, movement. So there's something you really want to take control of and just rush and do. But this is telling you to wait. So for some reason... Rushing into something right now and taking control without thinking it thoroughly first through thoroughly it may not be the best option. So this is telling you to wait and bide your time because you'll see better results. Don't rush into action just yet, whatever that means for you. All right, so waves of prosperity. We've got the page of wands here, so you could be getting some good news coming in. Let me get one more. An offer. Oh, I don't know. These flip over. Wow. So we have the Page of Wands, and we got the Sun here, which is your energy, Leo. So this could be a good offer coming in, good news coming in, something exciting, a new idea, um, new endeavor, project, like communication about something here. It could be you, or it could be somebody, you know, uh, contacting you about an idea or an endeavor, a project, or something here, a new job uh, or something. But total happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, everything positive with the sun. Abundance, growth, expansion. So, so some kind of new opportunity may be coming into you. 
somebody contacting you or something just falling into your lap in some way, shape, or form that will lead you to this total growth, abundance, and success. Wow. All right. So it says new abundance and exciting opportunities. So there's the opportunity with the Page of Wands coming in. And there you are going into the sun. So most positive card in the deck. So you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even though you don't see the results yet. So what is that for Leo? So we have the Queen of Wands and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this is good. So, you know, the Five of Pentacles upright is about feeling uh, lack in some way, shape, or form, or abandoned, you know, left out in the cold. But now it's in reverse. So now we're coming out of that energy because you're standing in your power here as the Queen of Wands. Fire energy. That's your energy. So being fiery, you know, go-getter, you know, going after what you want, a lot of drive, ambition, courage, like the kind of like the strength card coming out of lack of some kind. So just know, even though you may not see the results yet, and you may feel like in a lack, some sort of lack right now, just know uh, heaven is being helped, or you're being helped in some way, shape, or form, or you may have some unexpected help coming in. That will uh, help you come out of this lack kind of energy, whatever that is for you. It could be monetary. Um, it could be anything here. But And you'll be in your um, Queen of Wands fiery energy once again, being very confident, secure, grounded, uh, fiery, passionate. Not feeling. She does not look like she's feeling lack of any kind. So she's spreading her wings, taking flight. All right, good energy so far, Leo. So let's see here what this light is for you, Leo. What is this light for, Leo? Oh, got reversals here. So we got the Temperance in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So the Temperance is about patience and balance and peace and harmony, but it's in reverse. So something out of whack, out of balance. Uh, impatient kind of energy, not feeling totally, you know, at peace. And the Ten of Swords can be upright is usually about a painful ending, but, you know, reverse is kind of like not letting something come to an, come to an end that needs to come to an end that um, doesn't have any balance here. So, you know, in with light here, I mean, this could be, you know, just the energy of this card telling you to see the light now that something that is no longer serving you where there's no balance, there's no peace, there's no ha harmony, you're getting very impatient with the situation, probably just needs to come to an end instead of halting it and not ending it or let it come to its natural end. You know, the light is here to say it's time to see this light now that it is time to end this. Or this is telling you, you know, by shining your light onto others, you know, you can help them in their times of troubling times when, you know, things are coming to an end and they're having a hard time letting it go, as with the Ten of Swords in reverse, where they're feeling kind of impatient, imbalanced, they are not in a peaceful place. If you have some kind of light here um, to shine within others to help them in some way, shape, or form, it's telling you to shine that light to help them in their time of need. It's kind of what I'm getting with that. Kind of sort of like what I do here. So... All right, so let's see here. Listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something that you know is wrong. I'm getting like high school like peer pressure. Like here, smoke this cigarette or, you know, or something that you shouldn't be. I don't know. It's just weird. It's like childish energy I'm getting. So if you've got childish people around you that want, want to make you do crazy, stupid things and you're like, no, I'm not doing that, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. I mean, we're adults. I, I, you know, I don't know. Let's see. So let's see. We have, listen to your feelings. So we have the moon and the ten of pentacles. So, I mean, this could revolve something with ten of pentacles around uh, something around your job or career. You know, maybe somebody wants you to leave your job and go work somewhere else. And you're like, no, I don't think so. Because the moon can be about fear, um, not seeing the path clearly. Um, kind of energy, disillusionment. It can be about secrets, too. Oh, excuse me, I hope you didn't hear that. I just got a burped. <laughs> I forget I have a new camera here, and the microphone is, like, super sensitive, so it picks up every little thing. So if you heard that, I'm sorry. But, um, 
the moon here does talk about um seek could talk about secrets too or secrets come into light i don't know i'm getting a weird message like if someone has a secret plan to kind of like get you to leave like a job or something or go to another one because the pentacles can be about career finance because they'll be like oh you know you'll make more money and you're like i'm i don't really see that i don't see how that can be and they may be doing it just to deceive you just you know because they may have that kind of energy where you know they don't want to see you succeed or they just have like that negative energy about them trust your intuition because the moon can be about intuition also and also listen to your true feelings and your intuition about either money or a job or something like that because the ten of pentacles is like to total wealth abundance growth expansion for the future for the long term but the moon is like not knowing everything clearly so listen to your feelings and you know if it is about that and you're unsure like i don't think that's like a good opportunity or i don't think that's going to get me to the ten of pentacles and they're trying to tell you it is i would listen to your true feelings and your intuition because you're probably right Especially if, you, if you're comfortable where you are and you enjoy what you do and you're making decent money and you don't really see how this other opportunity could work, uh, whatever it may be, I would listen to that. That's kind of what I'm getting with that. You know, you may have somebody around you with ill intentions that just is like their nature. Some people are like that, so they may be this person over here. <laughs> All right, so you'll know in the morning when you wake up, you'll have a better idea about what to do. Relax until then. So what is that about for Leo? Let's get a couple cards for that one. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so the Ace of Swords is about total mental clarity. That's my divine intervention, my divine clarity card from Source. Uh, it's a successful brand new beginning based on truth, clarity, epiphany, aha moment. King of Pentacles, so king or queen here. So this is someone who's very stable, grounded, secure, abundant. They're smart, wise, and practical. You know, they have everything they need. And we did have the nine over there. So if there's a dis big decision you have to made, make and you don't have clarity, I would say wait until like the next morning or a time when you know you'll have this total mental clarity here. And something from divine here, the universe is probably going to show you or you'll have a dream or something will hit you like an epiphany and you'll know in the morning what the best option, the most grounded, stable option is for you or a decision you need to make that is the best for you. So that's what I'm getting with that. Wow. Okay. Well, that's what I have, Leo. So best of luck to you. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.